We back again, The Good Life Baby, episode number eight, and we are still fighting our opponent average. We still swinging on average. Last week we were swinging with consistency, preparation, and we talking about progress. Those two things that consistency yields. Today, we are gonna give him a serious blow when we understand and answer and get a revelation on these questions. I want you to feel me, I want you to hear me. This is, this is a, a reflection type message. I, I want you to consciously, soberly think about what I'm about to ask you. Where are you going? That's the question. Where are you going? Who are you striving to become? That, that question right there allows average to get a serious hit when we know when we know where we are going in life. Who are we striving to become? I, I've been married for 16 years, okay? And, and, and I'm strive. I strive every year to be better. Every year to do something I never done before, to, to take my relationship with my wife to another level. As a father, I'm doing the same thing. I want you to understand it's not about the dollars in the houses, in the cars. It's about becoming someone that when you enter their life, they understand that this is truly God's blessing. This is truly God in my life manifested himself through this person blessing me. I strive to be that in everyone's life. I'm on YouTube because of that. But I want you to understand something. Where are you going? What do, who do you want to become? What do you strive to become? These things are very important. When we understand where we are going and what we strive to become, it causes us to get Focus. It causes us to be focused on a goal, a vision. The scripture says uh, when you have no vision, you'll cast off restraint and become undisciplined. How many times have we sought to do something and we never really accomplished what we sought out to do? Only because we pulled off restraint. There was no restraint, whether there was no discipline. So what happened? Nothing. I don't want that to be your life. I don't want you to wake up one day and realize 10 years have gone by and all you have done is punch the clock. I want you to understand something. Your job is not to punch the clock. If you punch in the clock, that's fine. But let me, let me tell you something, baby. Your job is to bring out and to yield success and purpose. You're here for a reason. You're not here just to punch somebody's clock. You're here to bring out something that God has placed inside of you. You are too special. You are too valuable to let your life go without you doing something about it. The second thing, once we understand where we're going, the next thing is, are we prepared? Listen to me. Are we prepared? That determines what's going to happen. It's a, it's a saying, I was in the military years ago, and the saying is, is proper preparation prevents poor performance. Don Shula, 347 wins in his NFL career. People say one of the attributes of his success was that everybody on his team was prepared. He made sure that they were prepared. If quarterback got injured, the, the backup was prepared to go in and throw as well. Listen to me, your life has to be prepared. You have to prepare yourself. Wherever you're going, I mean, if it's, if it's at where you're striving to be, where you're striving to go to, preparation is key. What am I doing to prepare? What am I reading? What am I listening to? Who am I hanging around? What am I watching? Am I preparing for destination? Am I preparing for where I want to go and what I am supposed to do? Preparation is key, baby. Preparation is understanding that when I'm going to some place, I have to have everything I need so when I get there, I can perform. I, I'm, I'm working with people right now who, who are, when I say work, I mean works co-workers who are, who are preparing for a weightlifting contest, okay? They, they lift it and they've been doing this for the past six months. And one of the things they're doing is they have stopped eating certain things because they understand that what they feed on is going to result in how they look and how they perform. I'm going to back up and say it again. What you feed on, what are you feeding on will determine 
what you do and how you perform. I'm not talking about the hamburger, the number five, we gotta leave that alone too. But what I'm talking about, what I'm saying is mentally, what are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you internalizing? How are you feeding this destination that you plan to arrive at? How are you feeding this destination that you plan to be, live at and become? This is what feeding is about. This is what appetite is about. It's about preparation. Und don't don't leave here being, without being prepared. I'm talking about I'm talking about heaven. I'm talking about hell. I'm talking about right now. I'm talking about who you want to be. You got to prepare. Life is about preparation. It's not about trying to get stuff. It's about being somebody who you can bring out and say, hey, this is who I strive to become. This is the man or the woman I have become because I set out for it. It wasn't my accident. And you know my name and you know what we do. And today, baby, it's the good life. Something good is happening to you. And we will see you next week. Holla back at you.